Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering what is internet protocol, what is IPv4, what is IPv6, header format of IPv4 and IPv6, and then I will explain difference between IPv4 and IPv6. I will explain all these topics in detail. Guys, I have uploaded complete computer network server tutorials. I will provide that link in description. You can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. IP stands for Internet Protocol. It is used to send data from one computer to other computer or a network. It gives a unique address to each device, like how a house has an unique address. It decides how data packets travel from source to destination. Guys, IP address is part of TCP/IP model. In internet, whenever sender transfer data to receiver, the data is successfully reached to receiver because of IP address. Next, I will explain what is IPv4 and IPv6. Thus, IPv4 stands for Internet Protocol Version 4. It is fourth version of IP, and it is most commonly used. Size of IPv4 address is 32 bit. This is example of IPv4 address. There are four numbers separated by dots. This is example 192.168.1.1. Thus, each number has range. That range must be in between 0 to 255. Next, I will explain what is IPv6 address. Thus, normally in olden days, only few people use internet. So, in olden days, we used IPv4 address as we can give IPv4 address to only billions of devices. But at present, there are more than trillions of devices in internet and IPv4 address is already full. We cannot give IPv4 address to many devices. So, in order to overcome this problem, IPv6 address is introduced where IPv6 stands for Internet Protocol version 6. Whereas IPv4 address size is 32 bit and whereas IPv6 address size is 128 bit long. And whereas IPv4 address is separated by dots and IPv6 address is separated by colon. This is example 2001 colon 0db8 colon so on. That's not only numbers, IPv6 address also contains alphabets. So total there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Get set of characters separated by colon. Next I will explain difference between IPv4 and IPv6. Size of IPv4 address is 32 bit. Size of IPv6 address is 128 bit. It is written in decimal like 192.168.1.1. And whereas IPv6 is written in hexadecimal. IPv4 supports up to 4.3 billion devices. And whereas IPv6 support more than trillions of devices. That is nothing but we can assign IPv6 address to more than trillions of devices. In IPv4, header size is 20 bytes. And in IPv6, header size is 40 bytes. Guys, we can give IPv4 address to devices manually or automatically. Normally, we can give IP address manually or DSCP server can give IP addresses automatically. And whereas in IPv6, IPv6 supports auto configuration. IPv4 has no security and whereas IPv6 has security. IPv4 supports broadcast and IPv6 will not support broadcast. Fragmentation means dividing our data into pieces. So in IPv4, both sender and routers will do fragmentation. And whereas in IPv6, only sender will do fragmentation. Next, I will explain header format of IPv4. Thus, whenever sender transfer data to receiver along with data, there are so many other fields included. So, IPv4 header format tells complete information about data packet. These are important fields in IPv4 header along with data. These are various fields included. And the first one is version. So, version is nothing but version of internet protocol that is IPv4. So, first field contains IPv4 address and second one is header length which tells size of complete header and third one is type of service. Type of service tells that how packets should be treated, whether packets need to be sent fast if there is important data and if there are less important packets then packets need to be sent slow. So, type of service tells that how packets must be treated and fourth one is total length. Total length will say size of our packet and next one is identification. This identification field contains Unique ID for each packet. And next one is flags. Thus, flags tells that packets can be broken or not. And next field is fragment offset. Whenever complete packet is divided into pieces, all those pieces are arranged in order with the help of fragment offset. And next one is time to leave. Where this field tells that how much time packet must be present in network. And next one is protocol. Protocol tells that what protocol is used in packet, whether it is packet user TCP protocol or UDP protocol. And next one is checksum. Yes, by using checksum. We can check errors in our data and next one is source IP address and destination IP address. Whenever sender transfer data, we will include his IP address and to which computer you want to transfer data. We call that IP address as destination IP address. 
So it lost in IPv4 header format, source IP address, and as well as destination IP address. Both are included. This is complete header format of IPv4. Next, I will explain header format of IPv6. Now, the first one is version. Version tells that version of IP that is nothing but version 6. And next one is traffic class. Traffic class will show priority of packet. If packet has high priority, then packet need to be transferred immediately. If packet has low priority, packets are transferred very slow. So, traffic class will show priority of packet. And next one is flow label. Yes, whatever the data we are sending in network along with data will give some label. Yes, for example, let us say I am sending video data, which is very important. So, that video data is given one label and data can be handled based on that label. And next one is payload length. Payload length is nothing but size of data. Size of data is given in this field. And next data tells that what field is coming after IPv6 address. And next one is hop limit. Thus, hop is nothing but router. So, hop limit tells that through how many routers data is transferred to receiver. And last one is source IP address and destination IP address. That is nothing but sender IP address and as well as receiver's IP address.